Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys. Today I want to have a quick look at some of the figure photography I've done recently. I've got an amazing 3D diorama sent to me by Keswick 3D, paired with some of the most recent Hasbro releases. Okay, so looking at this diorama straight out of the box, it came packaged a lot better wrapped than this, but this is just how I've stored it. There's some amazing 3D printed uh, base walls here, just standard ones. I believe that they've got a whole catalogue of quite a few different designs. These are just two that I was sent. And then uh, alongside that, you've also got these really fantastic wired light up uh, panels as well. And there's also a door in there at the bottom as well. So the base I used was just the old of a, a top of an old desk, a metal desk. Here they are all lit up and put together. I've not actually attached them together. I've just stood them, like lent them against each other. Um, I've done it a bit of an angle as opposed to a corridor, just so that it helps with the visuals of the photograph. Um, but you can see that the desk here, although not completely screen accurate, works quite well. I've got here the Qui-Gon uh, recent release. Um, it's a really nice figure, um, just in his standard lightsaber holding pose. I've added in here an RGB light, LED light, just to create a bit of a blue hue. Um, usually I would use more lights, but because of the diorama, I don't need to. I'm just gonna pause the video here just to talk through my settings quickly. Um, so my ISO is only at 100 here, and the ISO reflects the sensitivity of the camera sensor to the light. And because I wanted it to be a little bit of a low lit photograph, because of the extra light that's added in, um, I went for the ISO of 100. The aperture I've got set at f5.6 here, um, that's just basically measuring the amount of light that's passing through the lens um, and can create a depth of field, but I just put it at this one because of the distance I'm from the camera, uh, from the subject. And the shutter speed I've got at 1 over 30. Um, the shutter speed some, sometimes we call like the exposure time, um, but basically it just defines the time that the, uh, the camera is exposed to light. Um, but I had a little play around and the 1 over 30 worked in the way that I wanted it to. And last but not least, obviously the M and the MF stands for manual or manual focus um, because you're always shooting manual. Don't want the camera's um, advanced settings sort of taking over how the photograph's done. Um, so obviously shooting in manual and focusing manually as well. Just bearing in mind that obviously the image you see on the screen isn't going to be how the photo looks when developed just because of the different settings. Um, but there we go. So that's that one set up. And then for the other photographs, I kept the same setup. I just changed the light. So obviously I went for more of a red one for Ventris here. Um, same kind of setup, same um, diorama setup at the angle there to create the illusion of the corridor. Um, just with a red hue and then here with the two bad batch figures i had a little play around and i moved the diorama around a little bit just to create a bit of a different scene um, and again went for a slightly different colored hue on the light there just to again create a different uh, look i like all my photographs to be tangible so it's all set up within the actual shot um, however with star wars photography i do tend to add the lightsaber blade afterwards just because it does create a totally different photograph however you can see here with the green from the light reflecting off of the figure in the background that was all created using the actual light um, i did the same here with the red blades but again the red that you can see in and around the subject is all created in for the photograph and then with a bad batch it's just as it was set up no post-production added here at all if this has been useful, please check out the other social channels of ours. Um, and obviously don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It's much appreciated.